Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I'm going to be discussing how to go over your system statistics in Pumatix. Now, for those of you not understanding what statistics is really being uh, to identify, it's actually looking at the runtime on your system. And why this is so important is because if we know the runtime on your entire system, the robot, as far as the motors, the chassis, and all the other hardware associated with it, you then can set up a preventative maintenance schedule to go over your system, do that once over to validate all screws are tight, nothing with vibration has caused any issues, check your cables, make sure nothing is wearing. I cannot tell you how many emails I get on, hey, my system was working perfectly up until now and blah, 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 blah. And they don't, they really, there's no detail. And when I talk to them immediately about a preventative maintenance schedule, everyone draws a blank, okay? Whether it's full scale, small scale, professional, or that term hobby that always comes up, if you use a machine at all, you're definitely going to want to set up this schedule. So first thing you're going to want to do in Pumatix is make sure that your uh, machine is set to the off in the module. You can see the glowing uh, power button right here. It's off. You're going to come over to configuration, go to statistics. And now you can see your time indicators. You can see with a negative symbol, we know that if I hit this, it's going to retract. And if I hit positive, it's going to expand. So again, all of those symbols work the same in the software. <clears throat> Excuse me. Time indicators. The total operating time of the controller, total standby time, total G-code execution time. All of these are very important for you to set up a schedule for preventative maintenance on your system. Now, total operating time, I recommend not exceeding five hours of use before going over your system. Now, if the system is new and you've never run it before, you should always set this up to actually uh, be reviewed as far as a new system after maybe an hour to two hours until you get a feel of the system, make sure everything is sound, and then you can expand that time frame based upon that. Okay? Logically, we can expand the time frame as long as you've got a, an actual schedule set up, you're set. Now you got distance indicators. Distance travel by motor, and you can see uh, NO, N1, N2, N3, N4, N5, total distance in the XY plane, and this is in millimeters. So again, the breakdown with this is so that you can see exactly the distance traveled over time. A lot of guys don't think about this, and I cannot express this enough. All of the motion that's being created is no different than how many miles are on your car. You know, people take that for granted. You got a hundred thousand miles on the car, and you know, if you're not changing the oil regularly, you're going to have problems. Well, you can export this file and use this file over time to actually set up that that PM schedule. And once that PM schedule is set up, you know when to go over the machine, and you'll have a lot less issues. You will find problems before they actually become major ones, or before they even occur because you've already witnessed things. Um, again, very, very critical to set this up, understand it. And again, uh, Mach 3 has something similar. I've covered it before with Mach 3. It has a, uh, a maintenance schedule in there as well, as far as discussing it. But with Pumatix, again, You've got your time standbys, everything. All you have to do is watch these uh, actual time indicators, and it will once again give you that overview for you to set up an arbitrary number that you feel comfortable with. I would never exceed five hours of use on any machine without actually going over anything. And when I say five hours of use, guys, I don't mean continuous necessarily. I mean quantified. So if you're doing two hours machining today, an hour machining on the weekend, you know, whatever it breaks down to, if it's five hours, that's when it should be done. And that's only after you've done the once over on a new machine. Or if you've put a machine back into service, meaning you've already corrected an issue, you put it back into service, always go over everything again. Once you start touching things, that's when usually you'll run into issues. So again, I hope that this video has been helpful. You can see exactly how simple this is. Um, if you guys do have questions, require quotes, uh, or consultations, please message me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com or my eDealer Direct store through eBay. I'll put links in the description below. You'll see um, an actual notification at the beginning of the video and at the end. To all my subscribers, I love you guys. I hope that this has been helpful. Take care.